it's Shanda. I will be telling you guys about how I got my kids to eat durian cake. <laughs> if you um, don't want to hear it in English and you'd prefer to hear it in Cantonese, then I will put it in the chapters on the time bar below or in the description box. All right, let's get into it. So today I just wanted to again share how I got my kids to eat durian cake or durian cake. In Cantonese it's called lavalines. That's usually what's in my head when I see that fruit um, that smells like garbage. Thing, honestly to me it doesn't taste too bad. It's just the smell. It's hard to get past the smell. <laughs> so my kids and I were having dinner at home. My husband was working late. He hadn't made it back yet and the kids were out asking for dessert. Usually I will alternate between fruit or some type of low sugar dessert item like a dark chocolate with coconut or nuts or something like that. This evening I opted to let them try the durian cake. I will try and include a picture here of what I actually gave them, of the packaging of what I actually gave them. I purchased it at Costco for my husband because he loves durian. So that was all for him and I offered it to my kids because it looks like the, the cake itself the reason why I call it a cake is because when I think of like um, pineapple cakes like Taiwanese to pineapple cakes so they look like pineapple cakes so my husband had shared that he thought it would be a good idea to let the kids try some of those durian cakes just in case you guys don't know I know I haven't mentioned it in other videos I have two daughters which I will bring up in another video because I know that also touches on cultural dynamics and the pressures of having males versus females and that's just a whole nother video video in itself. I will probably film that for you guys at a later date. The younger one is open to trying just about anything. The older one is more selective. I'm sure I'm not alone in this. So he figured that it might be a good idea to let the kids try durian cake. He hadn't gotten home yet, so I figured, well, might as well seize this opportunity anyway. They want dessert, we still have some. So I opened it up for them. And these cakes, if you guys haven't purchased them yourself, when you open it up, the whole immediate vicinity <laughs> smells of durian. The kids were kind of um, thrown off by the scent, but they still went ahead and tried it anyways. They did not enjoy it. My younger daughter who loves raw garlic, red pepper, raw onion, lemons, she was the first one to say that she did not like it and spat it out. My older daughter was a little bit hesitant to spit it out. She did not like it and she said it was, she ultimately said it was the wrong flavor. She said it tastes like garlic. I think she was just trying to find something else that she didn't quite enjoy the taste of. I don't know. If you've ever tried it, it does not taste like garlic. This was about three, four weeks ago, maybe about a week ago. My older daughter said under her breath during dinner, I don't know if it was directed at my husband or at me, but said, mommy tried to poison me. <laughs> or maybe it was mommy tried to poison us, like referring to her and my younger daughter. And I was like, what did you just say? Like, where did you even learn that? thinking it must be those Disney movies. <laughs> we just watched Coco recently and so maybe, I don't know, but she said, and then she wouldn't repeat it. She was scared to repeat it. She knew it was something that maybe she shouldn't have said. Finally, she said, mommy tried to poison us. Wish I had caught that moment on film. I would have at least put in the audio right here, but my husband and I thought that was really hilarious. <laughs> So that's all for this story. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're also looking for a place to practice Cantonese and Mandarin, please consider joining the Discord group I created for that purpose. I have included the link in the description box. If you're not familiar with Discord, it is completely free. I know I'm still learning how to navigate Discord. Also, if you enjoyed this content and would like to see more, I hope you consider subscribing and the Cantonese portion will be starting shortly. 大家好,我是Shanda 
係好好味嘅，好難味嘅。不過咧，食落去咧係好似臭豆臭豆腐咁樣，你食落去咧都 OK 個味道，即係食咗嗰個味道都可以嘅。不過我唔係咁中意食榴蓮嘅，我啲瘦仔。係從來都未食過榴蓮嘅，我老公咧就覺得我哋啲細路仔有可能會中意食。有一次咧，我老公係夜翻嚟嘅，即係佢上班夜翻嚟嘅。我同我啲細路仔三個食緊晚飯，咁佢哋就問我可唔可以攞啲甜品嚟食。我咧就揾呢個機會俾嗰啲榴蓮嗰啲榴蓮蛋糕仔啦。咁你一打開個時候咧，成間火就成陣榴蓮嘅味道啦。我就攞把刀我就。切一人一半俾佢哋兩個，啲細路仔咧就覺得超難食。過一到兩個星期之後咧，我大嗰個就好細聲講出嚟，佢話媽咪 try to poison us， 咁佢又唔夠膽再講多一次啊！佢後屘要嗌佢講，佢先肯講出嚟。咁我老公同我喺度笑。佢肯定喺 Disney 嗰啲片學翻嚟啦，因為我哋啱啱係睇 Coco， 你哋想試一下咧，你就可以試一下嘅，試一下或者你哋會中意食噶。我哋屋企人咧，得我老公同埋我媽或者我老公個媽中意食嘅，我哋其他啲親戚唔係好中意食依一樣嘢嘅。好，下次再見，拜拜。